everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Other M, the finale, finale, the finale of the epilogue section or part of the Metroid Other M game. Uh, yep, yeah, so we had finished completing, uh, completed 100% uh, the sector, I believe it was one, and then the bioweapon kind of research center -y area, I believe is what it's called. Anyways, we are going to head off to Sector 3, and if you guys didn't notice, I didn't leave off where we were because I figured you guys could, you know, how to get back to the main elevator to go up to the main main elevator to get to Sector 3. And there's actually, I think, only like three items in Sector 3, so it's really not that bad. That's why I figured I could t uh, tag that on to the finale episode because there are other things to be done. So let's go to Sector 3 and complete that. Um, trying to think if there's any tricky items. There's like one really easy one, like the first one we come across is really easy to get. Uh, the other two, there's one which can be tricky unless you know what to do. Like, you'll see it when I get there. It's so much easier to, I don't know, explain by showing than explain by talking. Anyway, so the first, uh, item blip on the screen, if you just saw briefly while I was looking at the map, just to confirm, it is over here. So, there is a door, I believe, up. Yeah, further up that way. So we gotta get up here. For some reason I got confused with like the one down there. But anyway, yeah, that was like the super missile door. And here's the... For some reason I thought it was down there. But anyways, it's up here. And boom! Wakey wakey monster. Let's see if I can waken him. Or in fact take him out would be great. There we go. That was easy. It's like I need the easy button for Metroid Other M. Was that button? You're just like that was easy. Okay, so missile tank. Uh, also, we might want to char no charge them up. There we go. Now we just need one more missile tank. Oh my god. Oh my god, one more missile tank, and it's gonna be like awesome and stuff. If that made any sense whatsoever. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to get up and over there. Um, it seems like there is like a shortcut right there which you could take which would then lead you to that section over there. You can go back through that way or you can go straight through this way to get over there. I think I'm going to try to see if I can take the shortcut way um, which is down here. I think on my practice run I took the other direction there but I'm pretty sure you can get there with both ways. Uh, there should be... Did I did I pass it or is it back into this room? Because there's a... A thingy over here, I think. I think it's on this section, this side. Yeah, that thing. This thingy. The thingy thingy. That'll shoot us way the heck over there. Because, I don't know, for some reason in my mind I'm thinking it's faster. Watch me find out it's not going to be faster. And then I'm going to get myself all screwed up, and I'm going to be like, oh, great, way to go. I got myself screwed up, because I think we can go from over here and then go down, because that's where, like, the Ridley fight thing was. Uh, I don't know if I'm really going to need to cut this or not, because it's not going to take that long to get down to the uh, big, huge lava room, as they call it, with all the crazy random exits in different directions which is annoying as heck because I always get lost in it. And there's the Ridley skin, which we've come across many times instead of just the first time. Ooh, the first time was creepy. It was just like, ugh. I hate seeing, like, you know, skin things, like, uh, shedding its skin. It's really creepy because then you look at it and you're not sure. It's like, oh my god, is it dead? Like, what, what's going on? Yeah, those guys, I think I've already explained, you can kill with one hit with a screw attack. Which is awesome, because they're annoying to, like, freeze their mouth and then missile them, and it's like a, you know, two-step process kind of thing. And those things can be rather tedious and annoying and blah, 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 blah. I'm just rambling on. Okay, so yeah. We're in this room, and this is where, like, all the what it, what's the actions happen. I think the last two items are kind of around this area. Okay. Whee! Hopefully Mr. Lava Monsters don't, uh, don't be like, hey, hey you, 
we're gonna we're gonna like shoot you down while you're trying to do this because that's happened before I've had I've been shot down I think once from one of these into the lava and I died and I think it was like I don't know maybe my because I did like a few runs of like my my blind run and then I did a practice and then my second run of it was you know to prove to myself I can 100% it before I attempted to do this let's play because I was like well geez I want to make sure I can actually 100% this game before I say I'm going to do a 100% run of something. I kind of like that insu insurance. Okay. Dude, that was not fun. That was very mean of you and very rude. Especially when we're so close to the end of the game. Do you have to be like a jerk? Like now? Seriously? But yeah. And then I have a practice file. For a little while I thought to myself, well geez, I don't need a practice file. I could totally do this without a practice file. Seriously? the practice file it helps don't don't diss the practice file people because it helps like I tell you like I don't know how many of you guys who maybe are let's players and use practice files and if you do like let me know in the comments below and you know if that helps you or not because it hel certainly helps me but yeah like right here there's like a a rock sort of thing I think it's this one like closest to the screen yeah, we had to go into our ball and not fall into lava and set off a power bomb. I think there's like little like firefly thingies that kind of, yeah, the firefly thingies kind of as like a hint or something. Okay, not getting to the lava. All right, so now we have ourselves another missile tank. Oh, the final missile tank, I should say. Not another, the f final one. Oh my god, yes, the final one. And now we have to somehow make our way I believe over here like there's wait a second where is this oh this, down here I was looking for the other outcropping thing I think if we keep going this way and destroy monsters as we go like lava men as I like to call them I don't know what their official name is I, I can never remember official names or things even in Mario and it's terrible I wasn't brought up with a whole lot of like like Mario platforming games like the old Mario stuff I was brought up on like the 60 hey dude the 64 Mario but I didn't even like own that game I think I saw like I played it at a friend's house and that was my first like gaming experience actually was seeing Mario and I was like oh my god on an N64 and I was like this is so cool and then and then I saw Zelda Ocarina of Time and I think I was more wowed by that honestly sorry Mario fans and stuff out there but I think I was more wow by Zelda just because I liked, I don't know, I, I, I liked the whole event more, I think I it was more the fantasy and the and adventure aspect that got to me more than anything. It's not to say that Mario isn't fantasy, it's got magic, it's got power stars, it's got all that stuff, but for some reason that just, I don't know, set me off. But yeah, here we are, we had to go across the tube in order to get to this room, and here I believe is the final bug door. Okay, bug dude, you were totally going down. You were the last bug dude that I have to fight, and there's no way, n no freaking way, I want to lose to you. Urgh. This guy has given me so many freaking problems, this particular one, because I don't know, for some reason, something about the last of something. Like, seriously, look at him just go at me. Like, this guy is just. I cannot stop complaining about this guy. He gave me a hard time practicing and it's just oh not fun. Okay, seriously? I've got to wait. Like he like I don't understand what it is about this particular guy. Like he is just the there we go. Ugh. I know I complained a lot about that particular one. And I don't know why. Something about that room, I think, just gets me. Anyway, like, just the... I, I don't know why. There's been, like, other close quarter rooms, but that one, I have no idea. It's like my bad luck room right here when it comes to that guy. Okay, so, let's do the count here. 100% main sector, sector 1, sector 2, sector 3, and the bioweapon research center. So now, guess what that means, guys? It means that we are going to be going to the end of the game and to save time backtracking I'm going to cut to where we need to be in order to get to the end end of the epilogue section so I will meet you guys there okay guys we're back and we are in the main sector right outside the sector 3 elevator door thingy um I th 
actually think there's one more freaking stupid bug to fight because for some reason like I don't know that's it's kinda like the last bug to fight to get an item because this one isn't like you fight it but it's just to kinda get to anyways it's right here essentially this dude like right here is where we need to we need to get rid of him in order to get to the end of the game so this is gonna be kinda annoying and I seriously hope that this bug is not gonna give me too many problems like just use your sense dodge and this is like a good this is actually really good to oh my gosh try to get as far away from it as possible like seriously oh gosh the way you like wax you down too Okay, charge up, charge up. Come on. Come at me, bro. Come at me, buggy. Okay, maybe not come at me, buggy. Okay, there we go. So much faster. Just die. You were the last bug, I believe. Oh, seriously. Okay. Now, we are in like a totally new area. Um. I don't know why it's like telling us to go down there because I'm pretty sure it's up here that we need to we need to go. Just gonna double check, make sure okay, sector one or main sector complete, all that stuff. It's all complete. Sorry, just get paranoid guys, cause eh. Yeah, I don't know, the map's confusing me because I know this is where we have to go. We have to go in this little elevator thing. To a totally new area of the ship we have never been before. Yeah. Oh now I know why it's telling us to go there, because Anyways, I don't want to. I don't want to say what it is, and if you guys, it's it's pretty obvious what it is. But if it's not, I don't want to spoil anything. So, yeah. Okay. Please say that was the last bug, because I'm trying to. I tell you, even with practice run runs, um, I tend to forget. Okay, so this is going to be a really crap ton of enemies kind of coming up. Yeah. And with these guys, what I like to do is just be like, hey. Power bomb the crap out of these guys, because I'm pretty sure it just wipes them the heck out. But then you gotta wait for your thing to recharge, so that's kind of annoying. And then you got the armadillos or whatever. And, you know, these can be taken out with a few powered shots. If I can save my power bomb, whatever, for something that's gonna be like, use, like, you know, be a real pain to take out. Okay, seriously, guys, guys, guys. Oh, now, also, we got the invisible chameleons after us at the same time. The exact same time. Frigate, frigate, frig you guys. Power bomb you all. Like, you're all gonna die. Like, this, that was annoying. Too annoying, too annoying for the end of this game. Uh, they probably advise you to kind of wait for this thing to drop down because, or for your power bombs to cool down. So that way you can just continuously use them throughout this. Um, that is probably a better idea. Because considering what comes up, like you never know what the heck comes up. And you can't be constantly using it. Like at some point you're going to have to just use charge shots because they're just going to keep like a wave of things coming. Like, you know, Space Pirates next. And it's just a volleyball of last defensive freaking enemies. It's insane. Okay, now we're ready to use our power bombs again. Thank goodness. Oh my god. I don't like fighting these things like normal way, if I can help it. Oh! What the heck? What just happened? That has never, ever happened to me before. Like, they knock me into, like, out of the power bomb but yet the power bomb still goes off like what the actual okay because I'm not dealing with these guys that was close especially when they get in that form they're a real pain in that form even though we're like more souped up but yeah come on Ugh. but then again I don't want to wait too long for this thing to decharge itself okay what do we got now Goodbye, annoying freaking things that I don't want to deal with. Enemies, those 
crazy things have wings and then they just kind of... Space pirates are really not that bad. I'll say that now and then find out like, you know, oh crap. Break my Wii remote's just like rumbling like nuts. It's like, oh my god, too many enemies, what are you doing? Uh, yeah. Don't use the... <laughs> That's another thing was when you're running and you don't want to activate speed booster, well it's kind of automatic, so you don't really oh crap, this guy. I definitely want to use this for this guy. Cause and you know and, and 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 guess what? No, no, it's not just one, it's two. If you that wasn't bad enough. You know, you got freaking two. Oh. Can we just Let's come on. That's right. Just get rid of him. Look at that awesome shot. That screenshot of him just dying and exploding. That was like, oh, uh, that was good. Okay, so we have a safe booth. This is a good thing that we have this safe booth here because uh, there's something big coming up, and I gotta mean literally too. That sounds so suggestive, but oh well. Oh boy, here we go. We're at the control bridge. Oh god. Here we go, guys. This is it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, for you Metroid fans out there, say hello to Fantoon. Yes, and when at the beginning of the battle, what you want to do is get rid of the hands with just a power bomb. Seriously? It happened again? Ugh. And all you can really do at this point is sense dodge and until he breaks the all the glass because obviously the weak spot is his eye. This is so much harder doing this battle like talking. And like I find dodging like well, back and forth, and sometimes forward even, like back and forth, like helps a lot, because this is just nuts. Like, look at this. And then when you get a chance, try to use your super missiles on the eye. When you get a chance from its freaking falling of things. Okay, yeah, seriously. Because that's when the health bar is going to finally come out and be like, hey. And just try to quick dodge out of the freaking way. And then at the, some point during the battle, he's gonna open up all these crazy vortex thingies, and he's gonna send out more freaking eyes, and he's just gonna swipe the crap out of you. And it's really annoying because it makes you run out of space, and it's not a fun time. If you get too close to him, he's gonna swipe the crap out of you, like he tried to do me there. And it's just a not a fun time. Oh god. Like, I remember doing like whatever runs of this game like I think this stuff will still hurt him but not as much as the other stuff like the uh, super missiles. Ugh. And I hate those like fatal like blows and stuff that happens. Ugh. Especially like if you have like so many ener energy tanks but it doesn't matter because if they get like one fatal blow on you you're like you're screwed. Okay. Come on. We gotta get your health down buddy. Come on. Ow. That was not fun. None of this battle's really that much fun. That much fun. I think that made a whole lot of sense. Oh, Okay, yeah. His, like, swiping thing does, like, the most damage I found. Or find. Found. I have to have proper grammar. Okay, hand things. When they come out, try to get this as much as possible because otherwise it, it's, they're gonna be a pain. And yeah, seriously, it, it's 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 annoying because he's gonna send these guys out a lot, a lot, a lot. On my practice file, I did pretty good. Uh, doing this whole thing on hard mode is like insane. Come on, get in ball form. Get rid of those guys. Uh, and sorry for the odd pauses, cause like seriously, this is an insane battle. It, it just, like, there's so much stuff going on in this battle, it's, it's crazy, but I think we almost got him. Forward, back, forward, slash, forward. Come on, mama. 
Come on. Can't be hasty at this point in the game. Okay. He's weak. He's weak. Let's get in there and lethal strike the crap out of him. Oh my god, I'm glad I got this freaking finale. Oh yeah. We did it. And there we go, the end of Fantoon. And that is what people consider to be the true boss fight in this game. Kind of screwed up in a way because Mother Brain has always Mother Brain has always been like the final final boss fight, and here they kind of made it Fantoon is kind of like the secret ending boss fight. So that's way more of a freaking boss fight than the whole MB thing. That was like nothing. So, anyways. Let's finish out the game and let's get out of there. Uh, uh, there's another way to, like, if you can't reach him in time, I guess, you can power bomb to get rid of him, or you could, I think it's like you can missile him from a distance, but I like doing lethal strikes because they're cool and that was awesome. I'm glad I got that ending in that way to destroy him. So we're just following a linear path to kind of get to where we really need to go. And, like, uh, Another reason why I just like this game is because it has it has so much I mean yes story to it and then this little little like extra bit near the end and it's just like oh my god it just like throws one throws you a curveball okay when it stops like this just charge up a power bomb and destroy the crap out of the elevator because it's not like it's gonna matter because it's gonna blow the crap out of the place anyway so yeah and then uh, oh yeah and also this is like a part where like if you didn't get um, for example the item up in these tube thingies, that's when you could. Like, if you didn't get it then, like at the beginning of the, begin at the, beginning of the game, you could get it at that point. So, just letting you know, if for whatever reason you didn't get the items there, you can get it at that point of the game. And we're going in this mode. Why? Why? Because we're coming up to final... some of the final cutscenes of this game. Oh my god, it's gonna make me want to cry. Madeline, thanks for telling me all this. I've got to destroy the Metroids and MB in Sector Zero. You have to remain hidden. No! Samus! Don't worry. The Galactic Federation CO, who's here now, will help you. Destruction protocol activated. Please evacuate the facility immediately. Okay, so of course, what's a Metroid game without basically having this whole evacuation thing with the you know Ridley theme slash evacuation theme? So basically, what you want to do is just run for your life because you're Zero Suit Samus and your health is, as you can see, since you don't have your suit on. Just do your best to avoid the enemies. I won't even be bothered with them unless they're really a problem. Uh, just try to get to your ship as fast as you freaking can because, yep, self-destruct protocol. Yeah, and well, I don't know what happens. I've never died during this part or ran out of time. So I really don't know what happens if you die, if you had to do the whole Fantoon battle all over again because that would seriously suck, like big time if you had to. Uh, you have like your little like stun gun on you, but that really hardly does anything. Like I said, mostly avoid the crap out of these guys because it's just... it's not gonna do any good because your stun gun, all it'll do is just stun the enemies. It won't actually destroy them, so you're kinda screwed if you try to stay and fight these guys because it's, it's pointless. 
Yes, I know. The cell is just four minutes till detonation. This is about to be the city. This is what Immediately. Because remember, the only ones here. It's like, yep, that's right. And you want to, like, try to... Oh, okay, when that happens, just charge up your stun gun and it'll get rid of the gates. Uh, but you want to hit down on the D-pad and then hit, like, the 2 or the A button in order to, uh... If you fall down there, you can just, um get back up with like these great things on the side but you want to try to jump over that to get over here because there's been like a couple times I did this whole out to uh, the stupid security case come on now there we go there we go there we go hit the two button and I think we're almost out I think we're almost there so yeah down B, down d-pad and then the Two button or whatever your A button is. I keep confusing it for like one because I'm so used to charging up things. Yeah, they're pretty easy to avoid, but yeah, they kind of put them there to just, you know, annoy you really. Oh geez, the heat or something. Samus is like, oh god, what are you doing? Don't run into the heat. I'm like fragile right now. I'm in zero suit Samus form. What are you doing? It's kind of cool. They kind of uh, allow you to play a zero suit Samus form. Okay, here we go. We're at the last home stretch towards the ship with like two minutes and uh, less than 30 seconds left. Here we go. Whee! Get to the ship, Samus. And into the ship we go. Sorry for keeping you waiting, Adam. Let's go home. Okay, so there we go. It's self-destructed and all the enemies have been destroyed. So this is where you find out if we got 100% on the game, did we? Did we? Come on, tell us game, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Yes, 100%. Perfect. Congratulations. Yeah, and then like Samus comes in and is like, whoop de doo you're awesome. You got 100%. You're kick-ass at this game. Uh, but yeah, and once you 100% the game for the first time, uh, you can then play it on hard mode. But I have never tried hard mode. I'll commend anyone who does. I might try it again, or might try to play this game in hard mode at some point. Um, but yeah, if you can, and especially with that fan tomb fight, oh my god. Like, I think they're getting rid of video responses on YouTube, I've heard. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but I was going to suggest if you decide to play this game in hard mode and get to the Phantom fight especially if you want to like show me or something because I would really love to see that I could probably look it up somewhere but seriously I'd love to see someone doing the hard mode of that Phantom fight or, or even just PM me the link to it or something like I don't know because I would I would love seeing that okay so yeah enough of me rambling on thank you guys so much for watching this whole entire let's play including the epilogue and we, we did it. We 100%ed it. It's great. It's awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I have. And until the next Let's Play, guys, this has been Misty Dawn 132 with Metroid Other M. Until next time, guys, take care. <laughs>